World War III. Everybody said it couldn't happen, but it did. The Afghanis were the first to use biological weapons on the battlefield. Pretty soon there were terrorist attacks on American soil. Women and children were killed. The United States retaliated, but with a biological weapon the military claimed was more humane. A genetic virus designed to attack only the Y chromosome. So only men would die. The idea was to kill soldiers on the battlefield to spare civilians. But the Y-bomb, that's what they called it, was rushed into production before it had been fully tested. The virus mutated and became highly contagious. Once it was airborne, the disease spread faster than anything anyone had ever seen before. It was incurable. There were outbreaks around the world. Young boys were especially vulnerable. Within months, 97% of the world's male population had been wiped out. Dr. Beverly Stokes, U.S. Surgeon General. She began to speak out. Sisters, we must put aside our pain and rebuild. We lost our sons, our husbands, and our fathers, and I feel their absence as much as any of you. But we must face the reality that throughout history, it has been fathers and husbands and sons who have perpetrated crime, war, and devastation. And now, with the technological means of annihilating themselves at their disposal, they've done exactly that and unleashed upon the world the greatest collective sorrow ever known. There's a reason for this. A genetic predisposition toward violence. Did you ever ask yourselves why virtually every inmate on death row was a man? It is because human males have a biological urge which drives them to commit terrible acts of aggression, rape, murder, war. But this last terrible act has provided us with an opportunity, a chance to rebuild for our daughters and our granddaughters a world without crime, without violence, without war, a world without men. She was assassinated. By a man who had survived. Her death proved her point. Men were dangerous and violent.